Good afternoon, friends. It's 2 o'clock on uh, February 8th. It's about 60 degrees, maybe a little more than that today. Just having a crazy, crazy beautiful day. And I know what you're saying. What is that behind you? Well, I guess this is uh, episode 3 of uh, the greenhouse. So today I decided to attack the uh, water. Apologize for the wind, but it's supposed to get windy in the next few hours and maybe six inches of snow, uh, believe it or not, um, tonight and into tomorrow. So I'm glad I'm getting it done. So let me uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I had fully intended to show you the whole process, but I'm so excited to have rented the ditch witch this morning that I just started ditch witching without, without filming. So uh, let me show you where we are. Okay, so the ditch witching is to connect from that hydrant, which is behind the house. So you're ditch witching this whole trench, I don't know, maybe eight inches wide. Yeah. Let's change the camera angle to the back. Okay, all the way to the greenhouse, which is. 120 feet away, downhill slightly. He was just in the barn and found another piece of this. I bought 100 feet of one inch underground line. Luckily I had some extra from uh, other projects. So um, this is the greenhouse rectangle. So I just took the trench far enough that it will penetrate into the greenhouse. And then while I was here and I had the trencher, I cut a couple more trenches. I cut a trench here that will be a drain. So there's kind of a shallow drain. This is right in the middle of the greenhouse along that 34 foot, 38, 36 foot length. So this is right in the middle. This will just be kind of a French drain in case for whatever reason we had a flood in the greenhouse. Um, that'll move the water out. This greenhouse is pretty flat. There's not a lot of pitch to it. Uh, and I also put a little trench here because uh, soon I will be putting um, some electricity into the greenhouse. And uh, that's a different project, but just as a quick overview, I got a pole right here, okay? And I have uh, 400 amps that run to the house that way. So instead of getting electricity from the house um, I'm gonna have a new service brought in from the electric company they're gonna bring 150 amps down that pole underground into the side of this building this is a garage so we're gonna have 150 amps going into that garage and from that garage I'll have a panel that will feed through here and feed electricity into the greenhouse that's the plan anyway so um, that's the overview. So now what I've got to do is uh, when my kids get home from school, they will they will be on trench cleanup duty. They can use this fabulous post hole digger. We all know what that is. That's not fun. But I did. It is called Razorback. Okay, it's a shovel that has this crazy angle on it. And it really allows you to stand up here above the trench and uh, work along the bottom of the trench. So anyway, that's what the kids are going to do. Um, I bought a new hydrant. This is a uh, hydrant that's got three feet in the ground. Okay, to replace this one only because I noticed that there's a lot of corrosion there on the bottom of that pipe. And uh, if you've ever dug one of these things out, uh, it just looked like uh, you know, it had gotten through the galvanized. So I'm going to replace this. Just put another one of these in. And um, there'll be a T down there. And from that T, Here's the uh, 
the joy of working uh, underground. So we have this is the hydrant. This is the rusty part. Um, we've got a one inch line down there. Um, so we're going to cut this, put a T in there, put a new hydrant in, bolt the whole thing back up. We'll see in a little bit. I just realized that there's pressure in this water line, so I need to turn that off at the source. Yeah, this is the uh, supply. So on the other side of this stone wall in the basement, we're in the basement of Summer Kitchen right now, is uh, this pipe comes out from the well, comes up out of the well, tees, half of that tee goes out to the outbuildings, the other half goes into the house. And it goes down there, and that follows out that door. That's where the supply is coming from. You can hear there's a leak in this valve. One of the reasons I do a lot of these projects myself is because I get to get a tool out of the deal. So uh, I just picked up these uh, guillotine pipe cutter. So we'll see if it makes this job a little easier. My, that was easy. Okay, in love with that tool. So, this is the old hydrant. It has a screw on brass fitting going right to this one inch. I might reuse this. This looks like it's a little higher quality than the, than the piece I just bought. Um, so, uh, See if we can get that off of there without too much uh, headache. Not headache, it'll be a tolerable headache. This wouldn't be a bad job if you're working at a workbench, but man, standing down in a hole is just not that much fun. I'll never get enough leverage. Okay, well, I'm gonna uh, go to the garage, put this in a vise. You'll just have to stand by and prepare for the next jump cut. Here's another jump cut. So this is the new hydrant, the end. It's got a, a three-quarter inch female thread. This beautiful chunk of brass, I just pulled off the old one. Now, I think one thing interesting, worth mentioning, is uh i just came from home depot and the guy directed me to the, the this is the piece he recommended okay um i mean there's no comparison why would i use this i had to put a brass mail to mail just so that i can get to this plastic piece of junk that you know is holding this four foot thing here um, so you know I don't know why this is the case I think it's probably more just because this a plumber put it in originally and this is the kind of high quality stuff that plumbers use not this kind of homeowner grade junk so anyway that's gonna go back to Home Depot with uh, the other piece and, uh, we're gonna end up with a much better uh, fitting Teflon tape on it. I know I always do it wrong. Even though you think you go around, yeah, you go around this way. So that when you tear it, no, you don't. You go the other way. I always do it wrong. Anyway, you do it so that when the tear doesn't unravel itself in the threads. Yeah, this is right. So you go. I don't know how many times you're supposed to go around. It's three times, let's say. So, 
my son's home from school. So he's going to get the great news about cleaning out the trench. This is an interesting installation when I removed it. I was digging. I don't remember witnessing what they had done, but it was interesting. There are, they had a five gallon bucket that they had put in the ground, I assume with holes perforated in the bottom of it, because what happens when you turn this off, all the water that's in this pipe, all the water in this pipe here comes out of this hole here. So this, this is always left empty. The, the valve is actually right here. So when you lift up the handle, it opens this water comes up when you close it all the water drains out of the tube here and that's what keeps it from freezing um, anyway so I'd never seen this installation before they cut a slot in it for the for the uh, the supply and uh, they filled the bucket with gravel um, which actually made it a little easier to dig out once I got to the bucket um, so I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, idea well, maybe you all knew that, but I didn't know it. So I'll share it with you. Let's get better leverage on this. the hydrant so this kind of gives us an opportunity to make that better so we gotta have these poised coming out of that pipe. It's inconvenient. Let's see if we can heat it up before it gets full of water. No leverage at all. That water's cooling down the plastic so fast.
Victory. Victory is ours. Nice driver here. Buddy, he said, yeah, put the clamps on them fast and the soft plastic will just eat right into those teeth. It's not quite as hot as it probably should be, but... I think I... Okay, so there we are, all eight. So the supplies coming in from this side, right through there, comes into this T, feeds this pipe. This is a new pipe going to the greenhouse. This is the old piece going to that brass piece to the new hydrant. You can hear the water running as it's uh, going through that 100 feet of hose right there. I did buy a plug for the end, so I'm gonna put that plug in it System of putting this in a bucket and I've sacrificed one of my buckets I just cut this one up. That's all. I'm gonna put this down here well, I like the idea of keeping that gravel separated from uh, so now that gravel is kind of separated. But when it drains, when this system drains, like we look, like we saw, you want it to run through that gravel and straight down, and not get contaminated with the dirt. So I think I'm ready to bury it. So uh, this is the bucket. As I was editing part three, it was apparent that this clip needed an end. So, we backfilled the trench. Sorry about the wind. There's the new hydrant. I still have to do a little bit more finishing up, fill that hole up. So it's working, it's pressurized. Be shorter next time. Comment, question, thumbs up. Thank you.